guys. So this is basically going to be a little bit of a monthly review video. It's been products that I've been collecting for the past two or three weeks. And I'm just going to go down the line. I'm going to start with, it's going to be very quick. I'm going to start with my hair stuff that I've been using for the past two weeks and stuff that I just picked up from the store. So basically stuff that I haven't used yet and stuff that I just tried today. Okay, so these are basically the Garnier Hold Blends and I've been using these shampoos for a while. I've used a bunch of them. I think I've used the coconut oil one, I've used the avocado one, I've used the honey one and this one is a new one that I just saw today at Dwayne Reed and it's called <clears throat> Garnier Whole Blends Gentle Shampoo Oat Delicacy Oat Milk and Rice Cream Extracts. So it's gently moisture gently moisturizes and softens your hair and it's gentle for sensitive scalp and paraben free. So I've tried it today. This is the shampoo and this is the conditioner and usually when I use regular shampoo and conditioner because I have curly hair my hair gets really really tangled so if the conditioner doesn't work well to my liking I go ahead and I use my how do you say this Aussie 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 three minute miracle moist so I get this big one because I have long hair and so when I when I'm done conditioning my hair I use a few pumps of this on the ends of my hair and work it up into my scalp and usually that softens my hair right up. So now next I'm going to move on to my body items that I've been loving this month and for winter my skin is really really dry and I always loved using the Bath and Body Works products because I just it's just something about smelling good. I just love smelling love smelling good and this one I picked up at the semi-annual and it smelled really really good it's called poolside pop and it has shea and vitamin E it's a shower gel and the signature the key note it smells like fruity drinks with umbrellas and sun drenched drenched afternoons and the key notes is sparkling lime drenched kiwi crushed cucumber pink hibiscus creamy woods and it just smells so good oh my goodness and then when I get out the shower I usually can you hear the car on the highway I usually grab my lotion and just like yes everything just smells so good and this is the super smooth body lotion 24 hour moisture a thousand in the scent a thousand wishes and this is the shea butter and coconut oil and this is just a favorite of mine. The key notes hair in A Thousand Wishes is pink Prosecco. Am I saying that right? Prosecco? Prosecco? I think so. Sparkling Quince, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. I don't know what any of those stuff is, but it smells so good. And it says lightweight and powerful, and it melts into your skin, and it feels amazing. And it leaves a great fragrance. I'm sorry that I sound out of breath. I really can't breathe through my nose. So now, another thing that I've been loving recently. I've recently picked this up. And this is the Sol Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And it's infused with all powerful Guarana extract. But this is basically... A cream that you don't necessarily have to use it on your bum bum but it's like a tightening smoothing cream so you use it wherever you want your skin to be a little more firm and so I've been using it on my thighs and my butt to be honest with you but this smells so so good oh my goodness it smells like cookies I wonder if they have key notes on this no it doesn't have key notes No keynotes, but it does have, yeah, you just basically rub it into your skin and it, it should be good. Now, I just picked this up today, and hopefully it works for my hair. I should have said this in the hair 
when I was doing the shampoo and the conditioner. But this is the Marc Anthony 100% Coconut Oil and Shea Butter Curl Cream. And I like to use anything without parabens and sulfates and I don't know how to pronounce this one, but it's phthalates. I just spit at the camera. Phthalates. And I don't know. I'm going to see how it works and I'll let you guys know. But so far, so good. Now I'm going to show you a few things that I've picked up from Sephora. I'm going to put it right here. And first I'm going to start with skincare items that I picked up at Sephora. Yes, yeah, skincare items that I picked up at Sephora. And if you've seen my skincare video, you know that I use my Clarisonic to wash my face every day. And I use it twice a day. And I needed a new refill, so I picked up the Clarisonic Brush Head Refill. And this is the Radiance Brush Head. So this is basically the soft the really really soft one and it's for all skin types I really recommend this one I love this brush um, the next thing is um, being that it's winter time in New York City the weather is really really cold and dry so my skin is really dry and I hate the feeling of dry skin hate it so recently I've been using my shea my African shea butter but then I was like I need more of a daily moisturizer because that was just too thick for my skin and oily it left like an oily residue on my face so I picked up um, face masks face masks are always good like when your skin is really going through it and I feel like my skin has been going through it because it's been like getting like dry patches and stuff like that so I feel that I feel like I do more masks now more than ever so I picked up these masks from Sephora and this one is the pomegranate face mask and it's for anti-fatigue and energizing. Um, I feel like most of their face masks leave your skin feeling moisturized. So this is just for energetic, fresh and radiant skin. And it's infused with pomegranate fruit extract. Now my next mask is the rose face mask. And this one is ultra moisturizing and brightening and this one says for plumper fresher and brighter and this is my all-time favorite Sephora face mask this one I love this is the Sephora pearl mask and it's perfecting it's for perfecting and brightening and it says for skin that is even fresher and brighter I love this one love 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 that one. now I picked up a couple of moisturizers from Sephora but one of them that I picked up did not work too well for me I picked up the it con it cosmetics confidence in a cream I believe was the name of it and I used it for a few days and in the morning time it was fine but then towards the end of the day I noticed that I would get like little bumps here and there and my face breaks out okay there's little reason for my face to break out my face either breaks out when I eat a lot of sugar or if I'm using something new and it doesn't agree with me so now I tend to use more natural products on my face and I guess I guess it wasn't that natural the it the it cream was not that natural I feel like it had a lot of chemicals in it so I had to exchange it for something that was a little bit more natural and I've tried this before and this is just the Josie Moran whipped argan oil face butter and it says ultra hydrating um, it says luxury with a conscience it's very natural I guess she she uses a hundred percent argan pure argan oil and it's whipped into a lightweight luxuriously face cream so hopefully this works better than the it cosmetics cream because I've used some of her products before, her oils and stuff like that for my hair, and I really liked it. So I hope this works out. So I picked up the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the number 360. I tried it today. So far, it's good. It's really, really good. It blends really well. 
the only thing it's a it's a little bit dry so you have to have like if you have dry skin moisturize your face really well before you put it on so now the next thing I picked up another face product which is the cover FX matte setting powder and this is in the color medium I use this today under my eyes so I'm gonna see I'm gonna let you guys know how I like this because my Laura Mercier one is too cakey for me and I don't know I feel like when I take pictures with that one you get like flashbacks and I picked up I wanted a liner like a waterproof liner so I picked up the Kat Von D ink liner because I need to do like really precise when it comes to my lines I, it has to be straight otherwise I'm not I'm not happy with it so I'm gonna try this and let you guys know how it is um, the next two products are lip products and the first one is the Fenty Beauty Stunna lip paint and this is in the color uncensored so it's the red one that you guys been you you guys have been seeing all over Instagram so I figured I'd just pick this up because Valentine's Day is coming up and I, I figured it would look nice and last but not least I picked this up because if you haven't noticed ColourPop is now selling at Sephora so I saw that this was on sale and I picked it up it was $14 and you get three it's a lip trio so you get three products inside of this box and it's ultra glossy lip and ultra satin lip so I'm guessing the two darker ones are the ultra satin lip and the lighter one is the glossy so I got misbehaving charming and catching feels is the last one maybe I take them out of the package and show you guys and I'll do it with the stunna lip paint too let's see you guys see me taking this out this is the first time that I'm opening this guys so Excuse me if I take long with my crazy long nails. Here we go. Damn. She is not playing with her packaging. Ooh. So this is how it looks. It kind of reminds me of the Christian Louboutin lipsticks. I think they only sell those at Sephora. Am I showing you the front of it? That's the front of it. That's how it looks. <clears throat> and let me show you the other two. That should be a really pretty red, though. Shouldn't that? This is the ColourPop one, guys. These three colors. And this, these three colors were only $14, so you can't go wrong. This one is the Ultra Satin Lip, and this is in the color Misbehaving. This one is Charming, and this is the Ultra Glossy Lip. And this one is another Ultra Satin Lip. And this is in the color Catching Feels. And you really can't go wrong with that. Because I think ColourPop lipsticks are like, I don't know how much they are. They're like 5 $6, I think. I've showed you my favorites this month, and I've showed you some things that I just picked up. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.